Hi, my name is Luann Welsh and I'm the director of a new modern event center called Lex 530 located in Elkhart, Indiana. I have over 20 years experience planning parties, working with brides, catering, and even teaching hospitality classes at our local culinary school. On Weddings with Luann, I would like to share my experiences and expertise with you to help you plan your wedding day. So you've met the man or woman of your dreams. Your fairy tale is coming true. It is time to plan for the big day. Should you take out a loan to help you get what you want? You want to invite 200 plus people. You want a champagne toast, an open bar for your guests, hors d'oeuvres, dinner, late night snacks, flowers galore, limos, photographers, entertainment for your guests. Where does it end? You might think, I deserve this. I've thought about this day all of my life. But do you really want to pay for one day for a good chunk of your life? Like so many of my blogs, I've said, think about what is really important to you and figure out how you can make what you have in mind a reality. One of the best pieces of advice I can give is to hire a wedding planner. I know what you're thinking. I don't have much money. Why would I spend it on that? The planner can help you decide what is important to you. They have connections. They know how to help you get the biggest bang for your buck. They can help you with a realistic budget and plan what you can pay for and what you'll need to do yourself. Next, consider the guest list. I cannot emphasize this enough. Cut the guest list. Couples do report regretting after the reception that they only partied with a small group of people and barely got to speak to the rest of the group. I know it sounds harsh, but you need to invite only enough people that you can interact with over about a five hour period of time. You want the guests to feel like you were accessible. You want them to feel like you took at least a brief time to welcome and thank them personally. You would do that if you invited them to your own home. This party should not feel that different. You should ask vendors for discounts, specials, or if there are things you might do to help keep your costs down. However, you should not badger these people. Oftentimes they are small business owners and they are called upon from their community to donate all the time. Please be respectful when trying to negotiate. Their business is how they make a living. If a vendor is too expensive, move on. There may be a better one that works for you just right around the corner. And last, lower your expectations for shock and awe at the reception. It might be cool and make you feel really special to drive around in a giant limo, but does it add to your guests' experience? Instead, emphasize the personal connections you have with your family and friends and spend your time and less of your money on the reception. If you're currently looking for a venue and are interested in Lex 530, please contact me at luann at lex530.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.